Oh, apparently Cardi B has potato chips. Never knew. Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here. Today we're gonna do some reviews um, of foreign candies or foods of some sort. So I got what is called a Munch Pack. Um, I will say I'm not sponsored by Munch Pack. This uh, I'm not receiving any monetary value if you do order this product. However, uh, Munch Pack is a company which basically sends foreign candies to you on a monthly basis, and they said if we send you one, will you check it out? And I said sure. So again, I'm not sponsored. If you do buy them or anything, I'm not getting anything from it. Um, and then I'm going to review a really cool, a strange cereal to Canada anyway, it is in the United States. The New Post Honey Bunches of Oats Bacon Maple or Maple Bacon Donut Cereal. So that's really cool. I love maple. I love donuts. Bacon's good like as well. So let's see what that's like. We'll check that out after. First, let's go to the Munch Pack. Um, so let's get out of the plastic. So the description of it is snacks from around the world delivered to your door. So kind of a cool idea, not going to lie, but again, I'm not sponsored by them. But if you want to sponsor me Munch Pack, let me know. We'll talk numbers. So let's open it up. Cool looking box. All right, and we have some promo code. All right, whatever. This Munch Pack is made from love just for you by Nick. So apparently Nick put together this pack. And here's a 20% off your next purchase code. There it is right there if anybody wants it. Maybe I'll want it, who knows. All right, wow, this is not what I was expecting. Okay, so we have a lot of different flavors. They are neatly packed in there. So I have some Galil Cranberry and Apple Herbal Tea. Definitely was not expecting to get tea in this. I wouldn't consider tea a snack. So that's kind of weird. Here we go. So that's actually cool. Um, oh, that's not right. There's a label on it, but it says from Germany, but it's describing it as a peanut butter bar, and that is incorrect. So I don't know where that came from. But tea in a snack box? I don't know. That's kind of interesting. Here we go. This is the Mr. Tom peanut butter bar. That's what the label was for. It obviously fell off. So this is from Germany. So that's pretty cool. Um, it says peanuts on it and it's a very interesting wrapper it's like almost paper try to look at the ingredients uh, I can't read them oh uh, I mean the first ingredient is I think peanut or sugar it's sugar so yeah that's that's interesting so mr. Tom from Germany oh okay, I see what's going on here so the other ones do have a, a little sticker on them but the tea did not this is called a soft croissant with a vanilla filling from Bulgaria. And it's called a Seven Days. So that's really interesting. Uh, I didn't expect to get a croissant. Maybe it's more like a dessert croissant. Like, I mean, the picture kind of looks like a Twinkie, but it's a croissant with a vanilla filling nonetheless. Ingredients are in English. No shortage of calories in that one. We then have wrap snacks wavy which is called wavy cardi b jerk barbecue and it's from the united states of america definitely never seen that and yeah look there's actually a little description of a quote from cardi b so apparently cardi b has potato chips never knew here we have something from japan i'm going to try to pronounce it it's called a Tohado Choco Sand Rum Raisin Flavor. So the pictures, it looks like it's like little cookies, kind of like Oreos, and apparently raisin or grape flavor. And there is like a brandy with raisins beside it on it. And yeah, from Japan, that looks interesting. All right, so I have tried this item before, very similar to it, and this one is legit. This is a Oreo Milka, and apparently this one is specifically coming from Romania. So these are the absolute bomb. They have these in the United States and in Canada too, although I think in Canada it's not under Melka, it's under Cadbury. Forget in the United States. Um, but interestingly enough, apparently the first ingredient is sugar, whereas all of the 
uh, European um, milkas and dairy milks, usually the first ingredient is milk. So that's kind of weird. But I have tried something very similar to this. I will admit the cookies were, didn't look like that. They didn't look like round, but I have tried a milka with Oreos in it and this is delicious. Really like it. Another one from Japan. This is a Faihuhu home pie mini chocolate cookies. So again, kind of like a, I don't know, this one actually kind of more like a brownie or like a wafer than a Oreo, but from Japan, it looks cool. From Turkey, we have some cola flavored bonbons. So some cola flavored hard candy. It is in English. From China, we have some E fruity monkey party gummies, which are basically just gummies, which look like monkeys. I have some Little Koalas March caramel flavor. Um, they look like little pocket things. Um, they're from Japan. And last but not least, the last thing in the box, from Indonesia, I have a Magomi corn stick, roasted corn flavor. Very interesting. And that's all that was in the box. But the box, again, is very beautifully designed. I will admit that. Well, let's move through these items quickly. And I didn't think there'd be so many of them. So let's see. Anyway, let's try this uh, corn snack first. So a corn snack, which is corn flavored. All right, so it's like a, looks like a wafer. Kind of like a, I don't even know where to put it. It looks like a wafer though. And it smells like sweet corn. Oh wow, okay. So it is very sweet. You know what I mean when it's like a popcorn twist? That's what it tastes like. A popcorn twist would taste like butter. Or kind of like roasted corn. That's pretty cool. Let's try a home pie mini chocolate cookie from Japan. And apparently it's new. All right, so it looks like a kind of chocolate square cookie with a little chocolate drizzle on it and a chocolate base. Okay, so it's not very sweet, um, but it tastes like a, it basically tastes like a wafer, like a, I don't know the brand of them, but like a chocolate wafer. There's like one called Wart Wartman's or Vertman's or something. Basically chocolate wafers. Thank you, Japan. Also from Japan, let's try one of these Koala's March Caramel. Very cool box. Inside the box, there's a bag which has a whole bunch of Koalas on it. Okay, so we have little Koala looking packs or little bites, I guess. Like they look like little ravioli or something. They're shaped like koala, but it's pretty cool. Actually a very nice looking cookie. So it's exactly what it looks like. There's a very, very light cookie on the outside. Oh, here. And there's like, see that? That's a white cream. Let's see if it'll focus. Anyway, so it's a little like animal cracker cookie on the outside with a Caramel flavored cream on the inside. I like this. It's probably my favorite item so far. Thank you, Japan. Let's try an e fruity gummy from China. Although the whole package is in English. And it smells good, but here is a monkey is what it looks like. It just tastes like a gummy candy. But, thank you China. Although it is in English and I know you can get these in Canada and America. But, I mean it tastes good, there's nothing wrong with it. But it's it's just a, just a gummy. Very soft gummy though, but just a gummy. Let's try some Choco Sand Rum Raisin Flavor Cookies from Japan. It does smell like a brandy, actually. I'm getting whiffs of both the floral notes, vanillin, 
and even a little alcohol. Um, so it looks like a little cookie, just like the package looks like. Okay. So I am getting like a brandy, not a raisin flavor, a very much brandy flavor, like alcohol. I mean, it's not bad. This would actually probably be nice like after you had a meal, just like one or two of these, as it's like a very strong flavor. Well, the brandy is a strong flavor. These aren't overly flavored themselves, but brandy is a very strong flavor, which would cut a lot of flavors. It's very interesting, but I definitely, in my mouth, it thinks like I just drank some brandy. Interesting. Thank you, Japan. I like that though. But I would only want one or two. Let's try a cola candy from Turkey. Okay, we got little plastic wrappers. And they look like just little brown colored squares. It does smell like a Coca-Cola gummy, a candy. That's on the inside. And if you watch my other review, it tastes just like the cola cubes. Just like a Coke flavored gummy. So if you like the cola flavors, that's good. I like it. I like that flavor though. If you don't like that flavor, you won't like it. A cola gummy. Try some Cardi B chips. I think it was jerk barbecue. Jerk barbecue. Again, I had no clue Cardi B made potato chips. And they look like potato chips. They smell just like barbecue uh, potato chips. And they taste exactly like a regular potato chip. Whether the brand be Lay's or what are they called, Ruffles or whatever. It's just a potato chip. Just a bar barbecue potato chip. I'm not tasting any jerk at all. I'm not getting any heat. Just Cardi B barbecue flavored potato chips. Mr. Tom Bar from Germany. So it looks like peanut, definitely peanut. I can smell peanuts. It smells like honey roasted peanuts. Basically compressed honey roasted peanuts. That's actually all it looks like. I think it'll snap. Yeah. So it's like a candied peanut or a peanut brittle almost. I think. Well, let's try it. Yeah. So this tastes just like candied peanuts. Or honey roasted peanuts or whatever you want to call them. It's, it is very good. That's exactly what it tastes like. So this is just a portable compressed bar of candied peanuts or honey roasted peanuts. Would recommend. I'm a big uh, honey roasted peanut fan. Let's try a seven days soft croissant with a vanilla filling. I will admit, I don't, I'm not a croissant person. Like, I'm really not a croissant person. I don't see what people see in them. I don't find any appeal to them. But I will try it. All right, so it is very, very, soft. It smells like a croissant. I definitely smell like vanilla. It smells like vanilla icing in it. Well, that's what it looks like. So it's squished, but and it's it's very moist actually. Like very, very moist. Like almost wet, but it smells like vanilla, like a vanilla icing. So I'm going to try to break it open. And there we go. There is a vanilla cream right there. See it? It's on my finger. Right there. So I can get the focus better. There you go. So the vanilla cream, like right there. And the croissant. The cream tastes good. Let's give it a bite. So it kind of tastes like a croissant with some vanilla cream in it. Exactly what it sounds like. I will say, so I bit it right from the middle though. There's no more cream in that side. There's really only in the middle, like the very little pocket. I'll try this one. Same thing. There's nothing there anymore. So in the whole croissant, there's only that much cream. I will say I did enjoy both of those bites, um, but 
The croissant itself just tastes like a croissant. And is lacking a little cream. It's not bad. I think I would hope for it to have more cream in it though. And last but definitely not least, the Melka Bar. This time coming from Romania. I know these are excellent. And there's Oreos, whole Oreo cookies in it. So you can't go wrong with that. So let's try this. Oh, I don't, I, I'm, I'm not gonna try the tea. Just tea bags. Let's give this a go. If I can open it. Oh, there we go. There's a little easy tab on the back. All right, this looks really cool. Look at that, literal Oreo cookies in the chocolate. One thing I really like about the Melka, it's like a hazelnut based filling. And there's what the front looks like. But actually, I don't know if this will have any hazelnut filling in it because it's just cookie. Usually there's like a, a white center. Like the one in uh, North America has a white center and cookie bits in it. This might not. Give it a go. Ooh, very soft. But yeah, actually there is no milk center. I'm kind of surprised. But milk of chocolate is very, very good. It's very sweet. And I like Oreo cookies. So let's try it. Okay. So in North America, or the most comparable thing I can say, is this chocolate? Again, there's usually a milk center. This one does not. It tastes just like a Kinder chocolate. If you're familiar with Kinder Surprise, like the eggs or any Kinder chocolate, that's exactly what this is. Kinder for sure. Which I think in retrospect, the Melka and Kinder usually taste pretty much the same anyway. All right, though. So the more I think, though, this Melka bar, this actually tastes so comparable. So, so, so comparable to a Hershey's cookie and cream bar. You like the white one, available in North America with the little cookie bits in it. Like, I'll try another bite, but. Honestly, it's basically identical to that. So if you have access to the Hershey's cookies and cream travel bar, you know exactly what this tastes like. Like, actually it's identical. It's absolutely identical. Which is really interesting. I'm kind of surprised by that. Well, anyway, everybody, that was the Munch Pack. I did like it. It was good. Um, my favorite items were the Milka Bar, Mr. Tom's Peanut Bar. I had some more of it. And these little qual of uh, snacks, which I might have had something similar before. So everybody, I hope you enjoyed. Now let's try the Maple Bacon Donut Honey Bunches of Oats Cereal. Definitely excited for this one. Maple Bacon Donut Cereal. This is released by Post and it is part of the Honey Bunches of Oats family. So I really like Honey Bunches of Oats. I like cereal, I like maple, and I like bacon. So I don't know if this was actually released in Canada. I got mine in the United States as did many other Canadians I know. Um, so I'm basically just gonna crack this open, give it a quick taste test, no shortage of reviews today, and let's see what it tastes like. Fresh box, open it up. Looks like in the bag, pretty standard. Looks like the picture, there's like some little donut holes. Oh yeah, didn't even rip the bag. I have a bowl, I have a spoon, going inside. So I'll just start with, you know, a mediocre bowl. Um, ooh, you know what it smells like? Um, if you've ever had like instant oatmeal, it smells like a, oh, what is it called? It's like a maple, there's some kind of instant oatmeal. Maple brown sugar, that's what it smells like. Or like brown sugar? It smells like brown sugar, maple brown sugar, uh, instant oatmeal. I mean, I'm looking forward to it already, actually. Uh, maple and bacon are, again, huge favorites. Maple especially. But brown sugar, instant oatmeal is definitely the first scent. So I'm going to try it dry, and we'll try it wet. So here we go. I think there's a good uh, spoonful of everything mixed. Let's try it. Okay, so I still get a little bit of that kind of 
maple instant oatmeal taste. And then there's like a little bit of bacon flavor coming from the little dots on these little donut things. See if it'll focus. But what it tastes like is, uh, look like that little red dot right there. That's one of them. It tastes like the fake bacon, like the instant fake bacon that you might find on a generic Caesar salad or something. That's kind of what it tastes like. I have heard it tastes more like bacon when you wet it. So I'm gonna wet it. Although I don't drink fluid milk and due to the respect and flavor, I'm actually gonna use water. It is sacrilegious, if you think so, let me know down below, but I'm doing it anyway. I eat cereal with water a lot, actually, because I find it does not alter the flavor, whereas like almond milk or coconut milk or soy milk has a very strong, different flavor. Not necessarily a bad thing, but very different. So this what looks like wet. Nothing special, nothing changed. Let's try it. I definitely am getting more bacon flavor. It's not as sweet as I would have thought. And there is nine grams of sugar per serving. So I'm kind of disappointed actually because I, I was expected to be sweeter. I like a sweeter cereal. I'm really not getting much maple. Just kind of that fake bacon flavor. I need some maple. So anyway, I'm just gonna finish it up. So like, you still get little hints and flavor notes of the original Honey Bunches of Oats, like the little flakes that kinda taste like cinnamon and stuff. But honestly, I think I'm disappointed. There's definitely no maple, or if it is, it's very, very minute. More of a kind of brown sugar flavor. The bacon flavor is present. It's not bad, it's definitely not overpowering, which I think is a good thing. But I was really looking for that maple and sweetness, especially for it to be called a donut. Donuts are supposed to be sweet. So, what do I think? Honestly, I'm quite disappointed. I would only give it like a, let's say six out of 10. It's very fair. I would much rather have my normal honey bunches of oats, honey, or it's the yellow one, whatever that one is. So everybody, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little review. It's not that great. If I missed out on the flip, if I missed out on trying it, it, I wouldn't have regretted it. So anyway, that's everybody. Thanks for watching. Until next time, say happy, healthy, hungry, and happy eating.